the end of the day, I'm Trump because I, 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 my eyes open. I can see that he was doing a lot better than what we're going through right now. You can't even go to the grocery stores right now without making a, a life decision on what you want to get. You know, you got to compromise. You, we don't have to go through that four years ago. You know, just being able to just live on a day-to-day -day basis, um, it has become a little harder um, at this point in time. Let's face it, individuals are coming into our country, not just illegal, but they're criminal. We have forgotten, the memory is so short right now. Was it not Vice President Harris who supported what? Defund the police? More black men voted for Donald Trump than any other Republican ever. So why is that? My brother is mm -hmm. a, is a, is a firm Donald, uh, Donald Trump supporter. There you go. And some, some things that he always says to me is that some of his principles as far as abortion, as far as same-sex marriage, as far as those things, those are a lot of the sticking points that draw a lot of our black men. Sometimes us as brothers, black brothers, we feel like the other is better than we are. We would, we would, that's that, to me, that's that slavery mentality, that master is better, and that we want to, I, no, I, I Well, hold on. Are you saying that the brothers that subscribe to Donald Trump, that feel like he would be better, have a slave mentality? Many of us do still have a slavery mentality. I'm voting for, I'm voting for master. You got a slavery mentality. Speak for yourself because you are stuck on the Democrat Party plantation, okay? Sitting here saying that, well, voting for Donald Trump, right? That's what he's implying, okay? Uh, if you vote for Trump as a black person, that means you have a slave mentality, right? Uh, that you think that the white man is better than you and, and all this other nonsense. Hopefully, uh, black men, are not thinking with their emotion. We vote emotion. Mm. That's not smart. We need to vote. We need to educate ourselves first. We got to stop this emotional because that's what's wrong with the black race. We too emotional. We we can't. I can't have a, a, a opinion without you being mad at me or something, or you upset when I say we should. We we got to come together. One consensus that you continue to hear is about. The Trump economy, the Trump economy, the Trump economy. Sure. The other thing you hear, they want to be a part of the history of the first black woman being a president. So Wait, well, I want to be a part of history. I want to see the first black woman in office. I got to support Kamala Harris because she's black, right? Voting to make history is one of the stupidest reasons that you can vote for somebody. and should not be so emotional in his thinking <laughs> that he's going to elect a woman into leadership simply to make history okay without understanding the consequences of that vote and what that actually means we ran a great country uh we had everything going the world respected us we had no wars uh, we, this group will cause us world war three they have no idea what they're doing and you know i hate to talk that way but we can't let this woman mm -hmm. get in it's two people and she's a very and you talk about unstable she's a whack job and how about his how about the uh, vice president how about waltz I mean, he's not qualified to be doing this. He is. I mean, you have to look at the vice president very seriously. I cannot think of a worse combination to run this country than an incompetent woman and an emotional man, okay? That is Kamala Harris and Tim Walsh, okay? Tim Walsh is the same guy out here talking about, well, you know, I, I just wear my emotions on my sleeves, right? And that's why I lie about everything, including uh, my whole life and how my kids were born, right? This is why I lie about everything, because I'm an emotional man. And I'm like, what the hell? This is not how you appeal to men, okay? Uh, Tim Walsh and Kamala Harris, this is the most feminine presidential ticket that we've ever seen, okay, in our lifetime. And this is why men are running away from the Democrat Party in droves, okay? You have men who traditionally would vote Democrat saying, no, 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 I cannot get behind Kamala Harris and Tim Walsh.